From the beautiful coastlines to the breathtaking mountainous regions, Papua New Guinea is located in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. With more than 600 islands, over 800 languages, and over a thousand traditional societies and tribes, Papua New Guinea has an estimated population of 8.5 million people. Almost 87% of the population live in rural areas with poor access to roads and basic health services. As a result, a lot of schools do not have access to basic water, sanitation and hygiene services, which makes school life a struggle for students, especially girls. On 26th February 2018, a 7.5 magnitude earthquake struck Hela and Southern Highlands provinces. The story is some 270,000 people, many of them children, are in need of urgent assistance. They're lacking food, shelter, clean water, latrines. Remember, these remote areas, they're high in the mountains. Children and women that were affected the most live in the most remote, brutal areas of PNG. Uh, having said that, the challenge was immense, but UNICEF was committed to uh, reaching out to as many children as possible. We were able to reach more than 60 schools. Children in those schools had never seen a latrine or a water, a rainwater collection system, so for them it was uh, something new that was part of their life. On the 24th of August 2018, the PNG government and partners, including UNICEF, launched the country's pilot policy and standards for wash in schools. To implement a uh, wash policy, we do our awareness to make sure people understand the wash policy. And basically it's about keeping the water system running in the school, keep the toilets clean, the kids have to wash their hands, the basic health rules. Uh, the wash in schools was actually one of the very first uh, success stories of the, of the, the wash policy implementation. A total of six pilot schools in Port Moresby were chosen to be model schools for the country to put into practice the policy and standards for washing schools while still in its draft stages. One of these schools was St. John's Catholic Primary and Elementary School, Tokarara. When it was introduced, I think the community was really happy about it. The parents were very happy about it. Children are now more concerned about being clean. If they collect rubbish, they will always go to wash their hands. If they want to eat, they will always wash their hands. It became a practice now. We have also the buckets, Anglican. They were the ones who were coming after this project was launched. They gave us buckets, buckets of water, and leave it out there with the soap before they eat. or After they play, they come and wash their hands. Before was in general, girls just go in those, we go in our toilets and after we use shovel, when they see their uh, man situation, they, since the uh, rubbish bins are outside the toilets, they just have to put their rubbish somewhere inside the toilet. They just, they don't mind, anybody can go inside and see it, but they just put it inside the toilet since we don't have these rubbish bins inside. They just put it inside because they're ashamed to put it, bring it outside. They introduce the sanitation and everything. We have to make this changing room. So now it's more easier that girls go inside the changing room. And we have our bean as well inside the changing room. So after everything, we just put the rubbish inside the bean. On the 21st of September 2018, the National Quality School Standards Framework was launched by the Department of Education with support from UNICEF and partners. Uh, this is a tool our school inspectors use. When an inspector walks into our school and sees that there is uh, water is not functioning and the toilets are there but the toilets are in a mess, uh, the school kind of get zero out of it because it's, it's not the standard of us. Throughout 2018, the Clean Pella Community Project, funded by the European Union and UNICEF in support of the PNG government's national wash policy, was launched in four selected districts of Papua New Guinea, Goroka, Hagen Central, Nawai, and Central Bougainville. It has main four components. One of them is a washing school, uh, where we're going to deliver uh, wash infrastructure in 200 schools in four districts. And we also have a soft component that is linked to the uh, CLTS and SLTS uh, in the communities that surround uh, the schools.
With the introduction of the policy and standards for washing schools, the National Quality School Standards Framework and the Clean Pella Community Wash Project, there are still challenges that are being faced with providing and sustaining wash services in schools. Papua New Guinea has got a huge geography challenges. We have got schools in very remote where there is no road. The Department of Education alone cannot fully implement. We need all our partners. The country has some of the highest indicators which are not very good. Uh, for example, 50% of the children are stunted. That has a huge impact on the human resources and the potential for the country to grow. And that's one area that this project can address directly.